Well, a couple mornings later, I decided to slip out and do some more elk hunting. Even though it was a full moon, the elk were talking really well and I thought I had a pretty good chance. I crawled up into a Millennium Ladder and started doing a little talking myself. Well, I could see some elk in the distance, but when I threw a bugle and a few cow calls out, I could see one bull was super interested. I was keeping tabs of these elk through the binoculars and watched them east through the brush. They were angling and weren't gonna come anywhere near me. So I decided to up the calling and throw out a few more soft cow calls. I saw one of the bulls look real hard in my direction, but because all the brush between us, thank goodness the elk was like, mm, might be an elk, might not, I can't see it. And that bull decided to branch off. I lost track of that bull in the brush and I wasn't sure if he had turned off to join the rest of the herd or was still coming. So I let out just a couple more really soft cow calls and a couple minutes later, that bull came easing out of the brush. That bull never answered me directly and he never called as he was coming in, he just snuck in. I'm freaking out a little bit as this bull's coming past I slowly get my recurve and I'm trying to turn in the Millennium Ladder and I'm stretching out my safety strap about as tight as I can to try and turn and get a shot at this bull that's going behind my Millennium Ladder stand. Well, my cameraman Tim did an amazing job turning and getting this bull on video because he was up at the Millennium Stand with me as well. It was a double. So he's turned around, I'm trying to turn around to get a shot at this bull, and it could not have played out any better. When my arrow hits, I saw it go through the bull and bounce out, and I know that is a fatal shot. Within seconds, I hear the bull going down. I can hear thrashing in the brush, and I literally, I look at Tim and I'm like, he dropped right there. I think that's that bull going down right there. Did you see that? I was stretched out as far as I could go on the safety belt. I just shot that bull right through the gap behind here. Look at this, look at where I shot through. I shot like this, Tim. I think I got him good. My lucky bow. My lucky arrows. The new Easton legacy. This bull was gonna go around. He was with some other bulls, some cows, and they were gonna loop around the front. I gave him a couple soft, soft little cow calls, and they totally turned. And that bull, the rest of the group kept going. Bull came around that bush right here, and he was gonna come right in front of me. And I should have had the Montana decoy, but I was tired of him guiding. I had it every day. I had it over here with Larry the other day but I didn't bring the Montana decoy this morning. If I'd have had it right here in this opening, he'd have walked right in front of me 10 yards. But you could see that bull came out. He heard that cow call and he knew he should have seen a cow right here. So he assumed that cow went into this thick brush behind us. So he turned and went that way. That was unreal. When we got out to go look, I didn't even pick up the blood trail. I just went right into the area that we had heard the brush breaking, and there was the bull. Dude, there's the tree. There's the tree I shot him out of. There's a dead bull right here. I thought he looked funny. He was totally covered in mine. He wallowed out. 
I remember ranging back at the ladder stand and the ladder stand was 50 something yards away. But what I wasn't even taking into account was that the bull was 20 yards away when I shot him. So that bull only made it about 30 plus yards before piling up. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly an arrow with a sharp broadhead, in this case a muzzy, can take down an animal as large as an elk if you make a good shot. And this was no exception. I've shot two arrows at elk this year. One in Oregon at 39 yards and this one at 20 yards in Colorado. And I've dropped two bulls. Look at how wallowed up that guy is. Look at this. <gasps> He's totally, he was wallowing. He's actually pretty ugly. Totally wallowed up in mud. I thought he was hairless. I was like, I got a bull with mange coming right at us. Look at how muddy he is. Totally rutted up, came right into the call. When he couldn't see an elk in the opening, he cut back. Me and, Ch me and Tim hopped up in that millennium and uh, the bull came right past us. That is unbelievable. I'm Fred Eichler, you're watching everything Eichler. I just shot it up. I just shot a beautiful rutted up bull here in Colorado. Shooting the brand new, that's the Easton Legacy Shafts that I helped Easton design and I couldn't be happier. Look at the size of this guy. Not the biggest bull on the mountain, but he's my bull. One, two, three, one, two, he's a four. One, two, three, four on this side. One, two, three, four, five on that side. Beautiful five by four bull. That is incredible.